It was never going to be the big schools that are impacted by the Labour Party's um, policies about VAT on independent education. It's always going to be the smaller schools and the schools that have been struggling. And this is now borne out by the closure of Kilgraston School in Scotland. It's Scotland's only Catholic boarding school. Uh, it's brought to light the profound impact that the proposed VAT charges uh, will have on independent schools across the UK. The decision to implement this 20% VAT on private school fees as proposed by the Labour government is already having a significant effect on the viability of these institutions with Kilgraston uh, being the first to cite this policy as a contributing factor to its closure but it's not the only factor that's the point. Independent schools particularly those with smaller student bodies or financial challenges are highly sensitive to changes in taxation and the VAT proposal which will take effect in January 2025 represents a substantial financial burden on parents and guardians who are already paying considerable sums of money for education. For many schools uh, this added cost may reduce the accessibility of private education thereby lowering enrolment and further straining already tight budgets. Uh, the idea that all private education gives people, gives students uh, an advantage that they wouldn't have in state education. Um, yes, I suppose it does give them a small advantage, but I don't think a significant advantage. The The idea of the old boys um, club is, over, is, is an over-egged omelette. And the idea that parents are paying for something that they can't get in state education, well, that is true. A lot of state education a lot of schools in state education are struggling and there is very little choice. Putting, going to a struggling school, can, can we change it? Yes, we can. That is the point. But do we change it by destroying other forms of education? No, we don't. What we do, I, I, I think the way forward, is to, is to re return authority to the schools to pull away from this obsession with independent examination assessments uh, particularly up to GCSE I think everything up to GCSE can be marked in the schools and this will restore the integrity and and help to re-encourage the inspiration of ordinary class teachers and it may do something to, 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 to help particularly lower performing schools, whether those are independent or state schools. Kilgraston's situation, uh, it was already facing financial difficulties with the reported two million funding gap and an urgent need for external investment. Beautiful building. And despite significant, significant fundraising effort by parents, uh, who raised 1.2 million, the school's financial struggles persisted. The planned sale of the school to achieve education fell through as the prospective buyer reassessed its commitment in the light of the impending VAT changes, and this left Kilgraston with an unsustainable financial outlook, leading to its closure with immediate effect. Uh, the case of Kilgraston may be indicative of a broader trend that could emerge as the VAT policy is implemented. Independent schools, especially those that do not have large endowments or a robust financial base, may find it increasingly difficult to operate, and this could lead to more closures, particularly in regions where independent schools serve as important alternatives to the state sector. Lorraine Davison, uh, the chief executive of the Scottish Council of Independent Schools, has called for a delay in the implementation of VAT on school fees until September 2025, arguing that the government has not fully assessed the impact on both independent and state sectors in Scotland. I think she's probably right. The closure of Kilgraston provides an early warning of the potential repercussions of this policy, highlighting the need for a more measured approach. The potential ripple effects of such closures could be far-reaching. As more independent schools face financial difficulties, there could be a significant influx of students into the state sector which may not have the capacity or the resources to accommodate them all. Additionally, the loss of independent schools could diminish educational diversity and limit choices for parents 
and students. And, and also that many of the private schools, many of the independent schools offer a specific help, targeted help to students in need, whether these are overachievers or whether these are people who are struggling with special needs. Uh, independent education is often better placed if people can afford this, or indeed if they if they're offered bursaries, bursaries or scholarships to um, to to access this. Liam Carr, the Conservative uh, Scottish Conservatives educational spokesman, has also weighed in, suggesting that Kilgraston's closure is an early indication of the impact of Labour's policy of imposing VAT on education. The closure serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance that many independent schools must maintain to stay operational and the potentially devastating consequences of policy changes that do not fully account for their unique financial challenges. I think the proposed VAT changes pose a significant threat to independent education across the UK, um, but I think it also poses a threat to education because I don't think imposing VAT or um, imposing a strain, um, put, putting a pressure on one particular form of education is necessarily going to benefit another. And without the teachers uh, already recruited and maintaining uh, their positions once they, once they have started their career, um, th th this, this is simply an ideological thump. It's not actually practical. Um, it, it, it's one thing to say we want, we want more places for teacher training. It's quite another thing to recruit those teachers and then to train them. And it's not a quick process, rather like training the police. You need time for people to go through these courses and to learn their skills. Many teachers could learn on the job. Now, that would be another way around the problem. And, and there are facilities for that. But that also requires um, other teachers to be mentoring the trainee staff. And, and, and that, of course, is a strain on resources, uh, particularly when most State schools, in my experience, are already um, bringing in supply teachers on a routine basis, uh, up, up to 10 to 12 teachers per school. That, that's a huge number um, who are being wheeled in on a daily basis into schools to fill gaps which cannot otherwise be filled. And students recognize this. There's nothing worse than having a teacher just who, who who doesn't know the subject, just monitoring the class. Um, in the end, it becomes a pointless, a pointless exercise. Um, I, I think Kilgraston will be a cautionary tale. The broader implications of educational diversity and the capacity of the state sector um, will be tested and um, there, there, there must be careful consideration. No doubt there will be more analysis by policymakers, and, um, and, and, and the question is whether or not other schools are going to close before the beginning of the next academic year.